Tampa media consultant Tim Burke was charged and arrested last week with 14 federal crimes related to alleged computer hacks into Fox News internal videos. According to the Tampa Bay Times, the indictment charges Burke with one count of conspiracy, six counts of accessing a protected computer without authorization, and seven counts of intercepting or disclosing wire, oral, or electronic communications. Burke runs a media and political consulting company. He produces video content for high-profile clients like HBO and ESPN. Previously, he worked for the online news sites Deadspin and The Daily Beast. A letter from a prosecutor obtained by the Times said the allegedly wrongfully obtained material related to footage of an anti-Semitic rant from Kanye West and behind-the-scenes footage of Tucker Carlson from his now-canceled Fox cable show. Burke's lawyers argue that he did not violate any laws because finding and helping publish videos is digital journalism and protected by the U.S. Constitution. And Howard, I think one of the big questions here is, did Tim Burke stumble upon this information uh, legally or did he ob obtain it illegally by breaking some law? Well, that's what trials are all about. We'll have to find that out. I think the prosecution is going to have a big hill to climb in trying to n nail him on this because he claims, and it looks like there's no reason not to believe this, that he surfaced uh, the web, surfaced the internet, and found passwords, found IDs, and used it to collect information. If that's the case, then I'm not sure that accessing information in that way is, uh, is a crime. The prosecution is going to have a very difficult uh, time here. Um, and I, I think, but this is a case that may define what journalism is like in the digital age. One of the concerns that reporters have is that the federal government seems to be saying that Tim Burke is not a reporter. He's not an actual right. reporter. Right. He is a media consultant, and that doesn't come under the protection of the First Amendment. Well, as this, this is a case, as I say, is going to define ju d journalism in a digital age, define who is a journalist. Um, but I, I, I think the prosecution is going to have a, uh, a very difficult time. Uh, you know, the, it, the Pentagon Papers case was maybe the landmark case in which uh, it was not a crime to publish information that was Ill illegally obtained by Daniel Ellsberg, then given to the Washington Post and New York Times, and the First Amendment protected that. I'm not even clear, it's not even clear now that he illegally obtained this information. But, um, it, you know, I, I don't, if people incompetently encrypted their passwords and their ID, and he got hold of that and then used that to access information, I'm not sure that that's going to be found to be a crime. Mm -hmm. Why should you be held criminally responsible because I incompetently put out my ID and my password on the Internet? You found it, you got it, you accessed it, and you accessed my computer. Did he steal a computer? Did he hack into somebody's computer? It doesn't look like he did that. Do you think this will be as big as the Pentagon Papers in, well, in terms of the impact <laughs> on journalists? Well, a uh, few cases are as big as the Pentagon Papers, but this is a case that has the capacity to define who's a journalist mm -hmm. in the digital age and what constitutes digital journalism. Yeah. Uh, April, there's another aspect of this. Uh, Tim Burke is married to a uh, Tampa City Councilwoman, uh, one of the most progressive members on right. Tampa City Council. How do you think that impacts her? How do you think this arrest impacts her? It's going to impact her, particularly if, she, if it's still ongoing when she gets into a campaign mode. But I think that she's going to face some questions um, from her constituents, and she's going to have to answer to that. But um, at the end of the day, she didn't do it. However, we know that in politics, that doesn't really matter, that people hold you responsible for um, things that your family has done and, and things that people close to you do. So I think that she has some challenges ahead and she needs to be prepared for that. Okay.